Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy Ducky. Today we are going to be reading Namju Hyuk and Bae Suzy's tarot cards. We're gonna see a little bit on their current energy regarding one another, what they think of one another, and ultimately some advice for their best selves. So, you know, get you some chips, drink you some tea or some coffee. I got some coffee and tea right here and water right next to me. Um, so we're going to I'm going to try and uh, I, I like to keep these videos pretty short and sweet within like 20 ish minutes or so. So, you know, just something nice to snack on, get you some food, get you some grub. If you are a fan of Namju Hyuk or Bae Suzy. This is going to be a video all about them and their their connection, maybe their thoughts, uh, their energy, stuff like that. So <clears throat> remember to keep in mind that these videos are for entertainment purposes. Why is that? That is because we do not have Namju Hyuk or Bay Suzy here to confirm nor deny that what I'm seeing in the cards is resonating with them or is not resonating with them. So just remember to keep that in mind whenever... Um, uh, I am saying stuff and you're like, oh, that resonates. That makes sense. Or like, no, Ducky, I don't know what the heck you're talking about, you know, because um, I ultimately have no idea who Namju Hyuk or Bae Suzy are. Uh, from what I just quickly Googled, Namju Hyuk is a model and Bae Suzy is a, an actress and singer, I believe. Um, so, yeah, um, all I know is that they're extremely talented and yeah. So, um, yeah, and also remember that these videos ultimately are not, uh, I did not make this channel to make it about like gossiping or to down talk or downplay um, these celebrities' talents and their gifts and their character. I made this channel just because I enjoy reading tarot cards and I figured, you know, I've been practicing for a while, for years by myself and a little bit with friends and I decided to make a channel. So just remember that these videos, I do them for with good intentions and to hopefully help um, someone out, whoever is listening or even like ultimately the celebrities, maybe a friend of 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 a friend uh, <laughs> will we'll, uh, watch this video and maybe, I don't know, relay the information back to them. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so just keep that in mind. Um, if you are not in agreement with something someone says or what I say, just remember to uh, love and respect yourselves and others. So with that little spiel said, let's get ready for Namju Hyuk and Bae Suzy's cards. So let's get a current energy. What is their current energy together? <clears throat> the tower. In reverse. The Seven of Cups in reverse. The King of Bats, the King of Swords in reverse. Um, so quickly, I'm just going to like lay it out. I don't. I don't think they uh, have the best friendship or camaraderie best connection <laughs> um with the way that these three sh cards showed up we got the tower in reverse so now the tower in reverse is always talking about you know like um some false accusations so maybe one or the other person accused the other of doing something or like just putting the blame of something um there's some kind of like blaming that i'm seeing and maybe some kind of like drastic changes that happened here um but like i really do feel like there's some kind of like maybe argument that happened or some kind of blame that happened especially with the king of swords or the king of bats in this deck showing up in reverse normally the king of swords is very very eloquent very witty um knowledgeable intelligent speaker and has a, a very intellectual mind but you know the suit of bats uh, or the suit of swords is all about our mind our and our words and our thoughts 
So when this comes in reverse along with the tower, there could be some kind of like false accusations that happen. Some kind of like he said, she said type of stuff. Um, <clears throat> and they don't really know what to think. Like with the seven of ghosts or the seven of cups in reverse, normally this talks about there's a lot of choices. You have plenty of choices um, going on. But in reverse, this talks about there's like so much, so many choices going on that you don't know what to pick, what to think, um, how to feel. So there's just a lot of like, there's a lot of like jumble here in regards to their energy. Like with the tower, there's just a lot of chaotic energy. Um, a lot of like, well, you said this. Well, you said this, you know. Um, and so they don't really know what to think. Um, that's that's what I'm seeing here. There's a little, yeah, they, I, I really do feel like there's some kind of like miscommunication. Maybe some kind of talking that was involved here. Some kind of argument that happened. Um, and they don't really know how to feel, how to think. Um, because there's just a lot have happened uh, that has happened between them. So let's see. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Let's see what our Namju Hyok's thoughts on Bay Susie. Also, if you are watching this um, on a Friday, I'm recording this right now, August 12th. Uh, on a Friday afternoon. Happy Friday. And if you're not watching this on a Friday, happy day to you as well as um, also. So, um, all right, let's get some thoughts on Namju Hyuk. Na Whoa. Namju Hyuk's thoughts on Bay Suzy. Eight of bats, some kind of restrictions. The King of Pumpkins, the King of Pentacles. The Queen of Bats, ooh. Immediately the, the word that I thought is like restricted and lazy. Um, these are the two words that I'm, that really popped up in my head. Now again, remember that like I don't, Faith sees the horizon beyond the waves. Um, yeah, so again, I don't want this to be like a gossip type of channel or anything like that. But like, I'm just kind of relaying what I'm seeing in the cards and, and letting y'all know kind of like what I'm thinking as the cards start popping up. So let's start, let's just start here. What are Namju Hyuk's thoughts on Bay Suzy? Immediately, the reason why I said restricted is because we got the Eight of Bats here, the Eight of Swords. Like, now look at this, like... This person's being very restricted. And again, the suit of bats this is all about our thoughts and um, our mind. So I feel like Namju Hyuk believes that Bay Suzy just really restricts herself a lot, of, a lot of the time. She just limits herself. She's like, oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't do that. Um, he feels that she just really limits herself. Um, and because she really limits herself, he see he could he maybe sees that as a little bit of like laziness with the King of Pumpkins, the King of Pentacles in reverse. Normally, the King of Pentacles always has like a plan, is very analytical, always has like a a blueprint, you know, is very organized. But in reverse, he could see this as like very like unorganized, um, even maybe lazy is kind of what I'm seeing. But there's some kind of like unorganization here like he just with the way that these cards are popping up i feel like namju hyuk sees her as like she just doesn't have great work ethic she limits herself and because she limits herself she doesn't have any plans on like what is she going to do next or what is she going to do to accomplish these things um and i do feel like he has maybe said these things to her again because like there was some kind of communication that was happening between them in the first set of cards that showed up before this and I feel like he he has said this to to uh Bay Susie and maybe she kind of just like retaliated and 
said some not so nice things back at him. Maybe she felt attacked um, because we got the Queen of Bats here in reverse. Normally the Queen of Bats, like she's very, very charming with her words. She's very intelligent and she's very graceful with her words. But when this comes in reverse, she kind of like uses those words to kind of like, you know, take jabs at people and to hurt people. So I do feel like he, I feel like Namju Hyuk has told some of these thoughts or has expressed some of his thoughts and opinions uh, about Bay Susie to her that like maybe she just restricts herself a lot um, and doesn't really have much of organization or much of a plan um, for things. And maybe she got upset and she kind of like was like, oh, well, yeah, you think this of me? Well, this is what I think of you, you know, and she just started taking jabs, you know, started attacking him back with some words. Um, we got the Rowan, Roan Mermaid here. I do have to look at the book for this deck, but immediately what I'm seeing here with this being the 10th card, which uh, gets simplified to one, and one is always about like grounding, being grounded. Um, it makes sense with like this or unorganized energy that Namju Hook may believe she has wealth. Yeah. So I think it says wealth in here. So that's the keyword. I do believe that Namju Hyuk believes that she, that Bay Suzy is very capable of doing things. You know, he just thinks that she restricts herself a lot. He, she restricts herself, doesn't have much of a plan or organization, um, and she doesn't have a strong foundation on like her work ethic. And whenever people tell her some of these things, maybe she kind of retaliates, doesn't want to hear it, and um, says some not so nice words back at, at others. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. Um, Faith sees the horizon beyond the waves. Yeah, sees the horizon. And you know, seeing the horizon is all about having an idea. If you like see things, like you're working towards something, you see the horizon, you see you're, you, you want to head in the direction of where the horizon is. Um, if you are lost at sea, and it just seems like she just has no direction. That's kind of what I'm seeing with Namju Hyuk's opinions on Bay Suzy. She doesn't really have much of a direction. Like, look at this, like bats are all over her. She's just, her mind is just all over the place is what I'm seeing. Um, so yeah. That, those are Namju Hyuk's cards on what he thinks in regards to Bay Suzy. All right, so now let's flip it. What are Bay Suzy's thoughts on Namju Hyuk? <clears throat> Death in reverse. The Knight of Pumpkins. The Eight of Wands in reverse. The Common Dolphin. You never know what great idea may arise in your sleep. Mm. Yeah, so Im immediately what I'm... I, I, I think what has happened here is they just have two different work ethics. The two of them just want to follow the same point but from two different angles you know um because there's always multiple ways you can succeed multiple ways you can reach the same destination um and i think that's kind of what is the clashing here because with the cards that happened here with bay suzy in regards to her thoughts on namju hyuk she believes that like he is just stuck in his ways like he she sees that he has great work ethic with the Knight of Pumpkins here. The Knight of Pumpkins is one of the is is the most hardworking knight out of them. You know, he he's slow and steady, um, works towards things, and he always has a plan on what he's doing and works towards them. Um, <clears throat> so she recognizes that about him, which is good. You know, Bay Susie recognizes that Nam Drew Hyuk has great work ethic. She's like, that's great for you. Um, but with this card being 42, which adds up to six and six is all about harmony and union. Um, 
she believes that like not everyone is like that, you know, just because Nam Ju Hyuk has always has a plan or idea towards like reaching his goals um, doesn't mean that everyone has to always have a concrete plan um, because it seems like she's a little bit more carefree and she just needs him to let go of that, of these things. Like she sees that he's kind of always like stuck in his ways. He gets stuck in his ways and he needs to make a change or like she sees that he just needs to either make a change in his work ethic or what I'm seeing more is like make a change into like not judging other people, harmonizing, you know, embracing and accepting that everyone is different and that everyone works differently. Everyone works towards goals differently. And she really sees that, feels that he just needs to kind of like change his feelings and mentalities towards other people, especially if they do not have the same type of work ethic or same type of like plans on doing things as he does. Uh, so with the eight of wands here in reverse, she does feel like he he needs to let go of always wanting to move things quickly because she has noticed that whenever like there's delays or things don't go as he has planned, um, he does kind of get uh, upset. He does get discouraged. And that's that's the problem with people sometimes that are a little bit too overly organized or always have a concrete plan. Um, sometimes they feel like if something doesn't go according to their plan, they get discouraged easily. They get um, discontent. They don't get happy. You know, they, they lose that motivation very quickly whenever they, they work hard towards something and they don't reach the goal or the destination that they were hoping to reach by a certain time frame. Or, you know, if they don't meet certain criteria they get upset or they get discouraged so she so Susie feels that Nam Joo Hyuk just needs to kind of let go of that um there are always going to be delays that happen and he needs to she feels he needs to just acknowledge that everyone is different you know like look at these two dolphins you know they're both going in the same direction but they're both individuals you know Maybe one likes to jump a little bit lower, it, like in the water, but there's, and the other one likes to jump higher, but they're still heading in the same direction. Um, and that's kind of what I'm seeing here is that she just, there's just a clash. There's a clash in, in work ethic. Um, one is a little bit more structured and one is a little bit more carefree. Um, and I, with the way that the cards showed up, I feel like Namju Hyuk is more structured, more organized, and Bae Suzy is more about feeling oriented. You know, she goes with based on how her feelings. She doesn't really always have too much of a plan. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, let's finish off with some advice for each of them. You know, and that's a good lesson uh, for anyone. Um, is that it, we all are different and we all do things differently. Uh, we all can be working towards a common goal, but we do things a little bit differently. Um, for example, like me with tarot card reading, uh, every tarot card reader is going to read things differently and maybe interpret cards differently. And we might reach the same conclusion. We just kind of go about it in a different way. And... Yeah, so just keep that in mind. Just because someone is is doing something or is working towards the same goal you are, but they're doing things differently, does not mean that um, you're doing it wrong or they're doing it wrong um, or anything like that. Uh, we all just have different ways of, of maneuvering and taking action and different ways of thinking. So, yeah. Anyway, let's... Enough of my tangent. <laughs> uh, so let's go on with Bay Susie's advice. Six of bats in reverse. The four of bats in reverse. A lot of thoughts. She gets in her head a lot. The two of wands 
in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get some advice for Nam Drew Hyuk. The Seven of Wands in reverse. The Three of Pumpkins. Mm -hmm. The Moon in reverse. The Mer Baby. The skill of being in harmony increases your effectiveness. Yeah. <clears throat> the Pilot Whale. You are your own fate and control your own destiny. Nice. Okay. So let's start with Susie Bay's. Bay Susie. Bay Susie's uh, advice. So we got this Six of Bats, the Six of Swords here with the Four of Swords. Both of them in reverse. Again, this is all about your thoughts, your communication, uh, your mind. The advice that I'm seeing for Bay Susie is to be a little bit more structured, be a little bit more mm, how do I want to word this? It is for her to be more how do I want to word this? I'm like losing, <laughs> I'm losing the way, like this is exactly like maybe how, how Bay Susie feels. Sometimes she just cannot find the right words to say or to think. Um, the advice that I, I'm seeing here for Bay Susie is to learn how to train her mind to have more of a goal because the six of bats in reverse always talks about like moving with no destination like you have no destination in mind again like before we said like seeing the horizon it's like she's in the water and she she doesn't know where to look for the horizon where to look for the for the sun uh for the destination she's looking for and that causes a lot of mental unrest so she needs to have a little bit more of a direction she doesn't need to be so methodical and organized um, maybe like how Nam Joo Hyuk is, but she needs to have a little bit more of of some organization, some um, some things going on. And with the two of wands here in reverse, um, there are some good. She has some good people, some good friends in her life that give her advice, but I feel like she just doesn't really take it. Like she, it's hard for her to take advice. Um, or to accept advice or constructive criticism from partners, from work partners and stuff like that. And um, she needs to come into harmony a little bit more with that. Six is all about harmony. The skills of being in harmony increases your effectiveness. So, you know, she needs to come to a, a little bit more of a, consens a consensual agreement. Um, and the middle ground, you know. Um, she doesn't need to be so organized like someone like Nam Joo Hyuk, but also she can't be so unorganized. She needs to find a good middle ground. She doesn't need to have too much of a... She needs to know, like, where she wants to go and, and like, where she's starting from, but she doesn't need to have, like, all of the dots connected to get to the final point. She just needs to have a few little dots, like, maybe have a few little goals, set a few little goals to have her reach to her final destination that she's reaching for. Um, so that's the advice I see for Bay Susie. Now, the advice that I see for Nam Joo Hyuk is to not get discouraged. He loses his confidence very quickly um, when things don't go his way. And that's what I was seeing as well that Bay Susie was thinking in regards to the cards that showed up before this in regards to how she sees... Nam Joo Hyuk, she sees that he's very organized, um, but he does get discouraged very quickly. He, he loses confidence. He loses, um, yeah, he just loses confidence and he needs to learn to be more persistent. Uh, we got the 36th card, which adds up to nine, uh, which is all about tenacity, resilience, building up persistence. Um, you are your own fate and control your own destiny. So he's always in control. You know, we always are in control of, of our destiny. And he, 
he needs to know that like he is organized he does have a plan and he needs to be more confident in his plan just because he doesn't reach his goal at the certain time date or you know whatever expected time frame he was hoping to get there he's still gonna get there and he needs to like be confident that he he has a plan um and he needs to be more trusting of others especially when he's working together with other people he needs to allow other people's strengths to come into play with the three of pumpkins the three of pentacles to me talks about creativity and people's strengths coming together like everyone has different strengths and when you work in a group project everyone's strengths should be highlighted and embraced and come together and i feel like the advice that i'm seeing here with him with the moon in reverse is that he doesn't really trust people a lot <laughs> um he he he's very distrusting um, and he feels like, oh, no, like, we can't do that because that's going to mess up my plan. He needs to have more confidence in himself and also confidence in others. Like, he can create the blueprint, he can create the plans, but he also needs to include and embrace that everyone else has something to offer. Everyone else has strengths. Everyone else has skills that they can bring into the table uh, to help achieve this common goal that they all want to get to. So... That's what I'm seeing with the reading here for Namju Hyuk and Bay Suzy. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, please. That would really appreciate. I would really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs down if you did not like the video. And if you did not like the video, feel free to give me some constructive criticism. Let me know what you thought of this video. Um, and I'm always open to suggestions. So feel free to also let me know what types of... Uh, or whose cards I should read um, and add on my to-do list. So that's it for me. I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.